lobster was brought to the United States uh, more than 100 years ago. If you crush the leaves, you can smell a garlicky smell. Garlic mustard was used in uh, cooking. Garlic mustard is an invasive plant, which is actually one of the worst invasive plants in our forest. It takes over the, the, uh, the bottom story of the forest and just covers the story with leaves and smothers other plants. It does have a toxin in, it, in its root, which is detrimental to native plants. One of the most important things to realize about this plant is it is a biennial. The first year it just sends up a small plant. By the end of the summer it'll have multiple leaves coming off of here. Next year it will send up lots of stalks, then it will start producing flowers. Where the flowers were on the stalks, um, the entire plant will die back at the base and all you'll have left is the stalk. Each stalk has seed pods, multiple, multiple pointy skinny little seed pods and each one of these has many seeds in it. When these seeds are ripe, the seed capsule or pod will explode open and project these seeds out several yards. So that's one of the ways that this plant um, spreads so quickly. They will stay viable in the soil for at least five years. That means once you start trying to get rid of it, if you've got a mature plant that you let go to seed, you're going to have seeds that are going to continue to come up for five years. So the trick is, of course, don't let it go to seed. When these seedlings are young, you can just pull them up very easily from the base. You do want to get all the root, but they don't have too much root. Or what you can do is cut the, the flowering stalk all the way down to the bottom. You can use a systemic herbicide, use one with glyphosate. Um, if you have huge patches of this, you'll see here we've got little seedlings coming up all over the place. These are an evergreen, so you can really spray these year-round.